So, uh, eight to nine months of yes, rigid preparation. Preparation, yes. Okay, and then uh, you uh, you got the branch of your choice. Yes, right. Ma yes. If you are really towards your branch, you are liking towards your brand that you want a particular branch. Then I don't think dropping is a very bad idea. Agli baar usi intensity se humko prepare karke dubara exam dena padega. Prepare according to a strategy. That is the way of cracking the exam. That is true. Finding out what is the best thing for you to do. Hello, students. This is Dr. Alekhya, orthopedic surgeon. So this is Dr. Sudha. No need of introduction. That is a very good ophthalmologist and a very great teacher. So Dr. Alekhya, mm. let me ask you. Um, yes, ma'am. Now that the NEET PG counselling is starting, mm. so uh, did you get a seat in the first attempt? PG, ma'am. Yes. PG. PG. Mm. Okay. PG, no, ma'am. Not the first attempt. Okay. So <laughs> why did you drop a seat uh, in the first attempt after uh, getting a rank? To be frank, not a very good rank. That means I actually wanted to take a surgical branch in a okay. good college. So for the first attempt, like internship, no ma'am, I had masti maza. So <laughs> rank has gone back, and then could not get a seat in a surgical branch. So I have taken a drop, and then opted for ortho. Okay, next so year. the next, so you prepared one whole year, or yes, during that one year you were working somewhere, or and preparing? Ah uh, no, first three months or four months, maybe probably I worked in some private hospital, and then I stopped and then studied the whole, I mean, like okay. eight months. So uh, eight to nine months of yes, rigid good preparation. Preparation, yes. Okay, and then uh, you uh, you got the branch of your choice. Yes, right. Yes. Then what about you, ma'am? Mm, I was fortunate enough to get a good enough rank in the first attempt, so I chose uh, um, topper man. <laughs> no, it's not like that, but uh, it's it is actually a dicey decision. Like whether if you're uh, if you're getting a rank which is where you are not uh, able to get a branch of your choice, then what should you do? So Alekia, what uh, do you think students should do if you're not getting a branch mm, of your choice? Ma'am, that is. Actually, I think it should be a personal decision. So, if you are really towards your branch, you are liking towards your brand that you want a particular branch, then I don't think dropping is a very bad idea. But basing upon the circumstance nowadays, because the you know the exam keep postponing, the cho the children doesn't have clarity, the next, the need, the NMC, so many things in their mind. I think they have to take a wise decision, talk to their mentors or talk to their you know seniors, and then take a wise decision. What about you, ma'am? I also think that see, my personally didn't have to go through that, but I feel that actually your branch is very very important because yes. you have to um, you have to do that for the rest of your life, right? So you take a seat when you are like somewhere between 25 and 30, and then for the next 30 years or 35 years you are going to want to go to work every day. So, if we are in such a branch that we don't like, then how will we go to work? And our work is like, uh, there's a lot of, um, I mean, it's you have to feel like going to work every day. So, branch is important, hai, but of course, I agree with Alekhya that you should assess the situation. Yes. If you have already like dropped a couple of years and again, you are thinking of dropping, then you have to think ki what are your circumstances. Uh, the finances and what are your fam what is your family situation and also very importantly do you really have the motivation to struggle for another year wo ek bahut important cheez hai kyunki matlab ek bar humne decision le liya ki nahi chalo seat drop kar dete hain par usse problem solve to nahi hui na agli bar usi intensity se humko prepare karke dobara exam dena padega and if you see the ranks the hmm. same marks if you get this year hmm. and probably the same marks for the Last year, the rank has gone back. The gone back, yeah. yeah. So, so that's an uncertainty. Uncertainty, right? yes. So we have to make a very, very <coughs> informed choice. That is yes. what is important. You have to make a choice. But if you ever have a confusion between branch and college, without a thought, I think you should choose the branch. branch yeah. So that is, is sorted. Now, suppose you're not getting a branch of your choice also and a college of your choice also, then you have to give it a thought. thought. That. And nowadays, all branches are doing well. There is no confusion like whether anatomy is doing good or physiology is doing good or ortho is doing good. Every branch has scope to improve. And now as the technology is also going hand in hand Correct. with the uh, science, then I think every branch has a scope to do well. So ma'am, one more thing, you have to give tip to how to become a topper, to crack the seat in the first attempt. 
so <laughs> no uh, <laughs> i think i was just plain lucky but uh, and uh, the preparation level of the exam is actually increasing it's becoming tougher, tougher and tougher yes. and that we always say that you have to have a disciplined uh, process of preparation you must you must uh, have mcq solving grant test revision and uh, prepare according to a strategy that is the way of cracking the exam that is true but once you've cracked the exam you and now that you are finding out what is the best thing for you to do see please tap all resources that you have yes. look at yeah. what was available at your rank last year and look at what are, make a list of what are the subjects that you are okay doing see we all know what we don't want to do but we actually don't know what are the subjects see i might be wanting to do medicine but suppose i don't get medicine what is the second thing i'm okay doing make a list of that make a list of which are the colleges you're willing to go depending on how far it is from your home your language preferences and and also try to find out before filling your preferences about the department in whatever way possible and then make a very very informed choice and if you are considering a drop as dr alekhya said she has taken a drop because it was her first attempt also as she yes, said and yeah. she knew that she had not given her best 100% yeah. yes that is the main thing if you're not if you think that you have not given your 100% in that particular exam then probably you can think of a drop correct but you think that you have put in all the efforts and you have really done everything you you could do for the exam then i think you should just step back and choose whatever is at you know available at your place yes, about whatever you that's why i said we have to make a list of list things of. which we are okay doing like yes i want to do general medicine or i want to do orthopedics but okay i'm not getting it what is the second best thing i didn't get orthopedics but am i okay doing ophthalmology which is also a surgical yes, branch yes, yes. am i do okay doing ent that's also a surgical, surgical branch. branch so we have to create a set of options and then if nothing is available obviously there is no option but to uh, take whatever take one, is available yeah, yeah. but yeah. if you're really exhausted with your preparation but if you're taking a drop then prepare yourself for it that one more year i have to slog i really have to work very very hard because the exam is obviously getting uh, more and more difficult It's so because. make an informed choice yes. that's what we we would like to tell you plan well execute well and don't think that you're lost in the way we are always here to help you reach out us at any time you want any advices regarding the selection of the branch or the institute see you all bye bye